Guys, give me a sec. Sean, I said I'll do the intro. Guys, I have a guest who wants to do the intro. Who could that be? Hey, are you ready? Welcome to another exciting video at Tikshan, where you get to see the unboxing and review of the latest Kurban Duel. And ha, if you guys are wondering who I am, I'll let you know. But before that, let's get to the review. Here we have the box. This is the Indian unit which comes with 32GB storage and 4GB RAM. Opening up the box, we have the phone. Moving further, we get a screen guard, couple of manuals, a type C charging cable, normal charger adapter, SIM magic pin, so that's about the box. Let's take a 360 view of the device before we get in depth. At first look, we have a premium looking phone here. The design is based on Leico's design structure. If you have a Le2 or Lerwinus, you can see the similarities. And huh, if you guys are wondering, this phone is a collaboration between Coolpad and Leico. Leico now holds a major stake in Coolpad, so that explains why it looks like a Leico phone. It's a metal device, however, the top bottom is plastic with metal finish and yeah, also the front borders. Overall, design looks good, light in weight and grippy. Comes in two colors, gold and silver. This is the silver variant. On the front, we have the 5.5 inch display with a front facing camera, earpiece, hidden sensors and an LED notification light. Front bottom, we have the navigation buttons which are illuminated. On the right, we have the volume rocker and power button. On the left, we have the SIM slot. It's a dual SIM 4G mobile which can take two nano SIM cards. No storage expansion. Both supports 4G Volti, so yes, Reliance Geo works fine on both slots. Bottom, we have the speaker and microphone grill with the Type-C charging port in the middle. Top, we have the 3.5mm audio slot. Yes, guys, believe me, it's not removed. <laughs> and an IR blaster. At the back, we have what is one of the highlights, a dual rear camera with dual tone flash. Also a secondary microphone and the fingerprint sensor. Back bottom, the Coolpad and Leuco branding. Overall, build quality is solid, impressive, happy with that. I have been testing this device and here are a few things that will help you decide if you can consider this. First is the display. It comes with a 5.5 inch Full HD display with a pixel density of 401 ppi and the resolution is 1920 into 1080. Color of production is good, bright, crisp and natural. The viewing angles are good in indoor and decent under direct sunlight. Has a few color settings to play with. Touch is responsive. Screen to body ratio is 77%. You do get this black border around. To save the display from accidental drops comes with Gorilla Glass protection. Overall on the display I am happy. Moving on to the performance, a Snapdragon 652 clocked at 1.8 GHz is what gives life to this device. It's an octa chip bundle with an Adreno Phyton GPU and 4GB RAM. Now this is an impressive hardware combination. Here is the benchmark scope. The phone handles whatever you throw at it with ease, be it everyday tasks such as browsing, chatting, social media, videos, multitasking or gaming, it is snappy. On the gaming front, handles some high-end titles with ease. Games such as Nova 3, Asphalt 8, Tomb Raider, Gods of Rome, etc. ran smooth. So if you are a gamer, you will be delighted. To add to the fun, it comes with most of the sensors you need. Accelerometer, compass, light, gyro, proximity, you name it. Except NFC. Overall, on the performance part, I am happy. Next is the major highlight of this device, the dual camera. The rear camera comes with two 13 megapixel shooters. One is a monochrome and the other an RGB sensor. Has dual tone flash. And on the front we get an 8 megapixel shooter. Both the cameras take good pictures. The camera app has a lot of options to play with. Both auto and manual controls. Has beauty mode, HDR, watermark, filters, slow motion videos etc. Also comes with a separate SLR option to give you nice bokeh effect photos. To handle minor shakes, it has software stabilization. You can shoot out of 4K videos with the rear and Full HD with the front. Focusing in well-lit condition is pretty fast. In low light, struggles a bit. 
low light performance is decent. One thing that I noticed is in low light I could see shutter lag in between clicks. Minus that this has a very good camera in this range. Here are some sample shots raw unedited. I have tried to capture photos and video with lot of elements in it. Guys, currently I'm recording this using the front facing camera, the cool one dual. Their audio is also through that. So you get a pretty good idea. Let me go 360. And guys, this is an indoor artificial lighting. <laughs> And guys, this is in low light. Overall, on the camera, I'm happy. Next is the software. Cool One Dual comes loaded with Android Marshmallow out of the box with Lurico's EUI 5.8 instead of Coolpad's own Cool UI 8. So what you get is a Lurico interface here. It is fancy and heavily customized. If you are a first time UI user, the control center is one thing you might like which is kind of similar to what you get on the iOS. Has some nice themes. Couple of things to note is you don't get the dual app support or the live TV that you find on Lurico devices. At least as of now. But not a big deal. Not much third party bloat matter except the Explorer keyboard and Yahoo Weather pre-installed. Given the specs and massive 4GB RAM, interface is smooth and responsive. RAM management is good. Overall, on the software, I'm happy. Next is the fingerprint sensor, placed at the back. It is fast, I would say, but not the fastest I've tested. Works pretty good. 1, 2, 3. As you can see, it was fast and works 8 out of 10 times. Now, time to test it with some moisture in hands. Sweaty fingers, I would say it is gonna be on and off. Now oil, shall we? This works good. Now this fingerprint sensor also doubles up to do some additional things which you can manage from the settings. Taking photos, unlocking apps, overall a good fingerprint sensor. Next is the storage. Cool One Indian unit comes with 32GB inbuilt out of which you get 23GB free to use. Storage expansion is not possible which is the only hiccup to crib about. Because in Coolpad devices we either get a separate SD card slot or a hybrid slot at least. Heavy users who load large games and take photos and videos will have a hiccup. On the other hand the device supports OTG so you can use a Type-C OTG adapter to connect pen drives to access files videos from it directly without moving into the phone storage. Reverse charging via OTG is also supported to charge up other devices. And huh, if you guys are curious, connecting wireless keyboard and mouse also works. <laughs> On the storage, could have had a SD card slot or multiple variants to choose from. Next is the battery. Cool one comes with a large 4000 mAh battery. The battery performance is very good. The software is optimized and has a lot of battery saving options. On full charge in my test with a bit of gaming, multitasking, social media etc. I was able to pull it to almost one and a half days on good use of the device. To give you an idea, 30 minutes of watching video on YouTube using 4G cellular data consumes 7% and the same on Wi-Fi consumes 6%. The device charges up fast. Though the Snapdragon 652 supports high-end fast charging, using a fast charger and the one you get in the box has no major difference. 0-100% took approximately 2 and a half hours. Overall, on the battery backup, I'm happy. Now some generic things. Radio listeners, Cool One has FM radio. However, you have to get a separate earphone for it to work. Supports compass. The audio output via the single speaker is good. Not very loud, but yeah, decent enough. Audio via the 3.5mm slot is also good. Call quality is excellent. Hey Sean. Hi. How are you? Yeah, I have a contest. Yes, yes. How is my voice? Yeah, your voice is clear. 
Okay, this is the Cool One Dual, the latest cool pad device. Oh, that's cool. Okay, your voice is also very clear. Okay. Okay, then bye. The IR Blaster works well and helps control infrared enabled devices such as TV, air condition, etc. On the pricing, it is priced well at $13,999 and is an Amazon exclusive. Okay, now jumping to the next curious question Does this phone get heated? Being a metal device, warmness is unavoidable. Did you guys get that? I hope so. <laughs> when you push it hard, say like continuous gaming or 4K video recording. In my test, when I pushed my unit with some high-end games, after approximately 30 minutes of gameplay, the temperature was around 41, 42, which is acceptable. But be ready to battle some heat if you are a game addict who plays for longer duration. One thing I noticed with Asphalt 8 is the device does get slightly warm. Hope a software patch can fix that. So yeah, no major heating issue with normal or moderate gaming. Now what I think could have been better at this range? A separate SD card slot for at least photos and media? The navigation keys is not marked and glows on touch. The glow is not visible in the silver variant in bright outdoor light. And finally, could have had at least a basic pair of earphones bundled which usually cool pack devices come with. Minus the above, if you ask me can I buy this device? At this range, for me, sure it is an impressive option, go for it. Has good specs, good camera, good battery and covers most of the aspects a consumer will look for in a smartphone. Alright, do you want to do the extra? Hope this video was informative to know more about the Cool One Dual. Got questions? You know what to do. And guys, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to... Subscribe! <coughs>